Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to use Steve's blog header generator to create a header with text for your blog. When you open the program you end up with an image with some text on and the first thing you want to do is clear all the text. Click the button and confirm you want to remove it. The second thing you want to do is decide where you want to save your header file and I've got a folder already created called Steve's blog header generator so I choose that one. You can either choose one you have already set up or make a new folder by clicking the button there. I click OK. Then what I'm going to do is actually get an image directly from my blog. So I open my browser and here's a blog with a header image on with no text. So what I do is right click on the image and just save the image as and what I've got is in Steve's blog header generator I've got a subfolder set up called originals so I just press the save button and it tells me the file name is actually called path now what I need to do is although it's the same image we'll select the image that I've downloaded from my um, website called path click on the image and open it now what I need to do is instead of using my defined height and width for the image I'm going to click the full area button and then I'll get an image which is the, exactly the same size as that used on my blog. Now all I need to do is add some text maybe my new blog as soon as you start typing it does appear on there on the header but uh, because it's dark image and black text you don't see it very well so what I'll do is I'll change the color to maybe white so it's easy to see and then I change the style to something much bigger and maybe something more interesting like Lucinda calligraphy there we go and I can position this just by clicking and dragging anywhere on the blog maybe I want a second style of text so I click on the style number two and I'll write my URL creative success.co.uk and again it's displayed black I'll choose a lighter color maybe light yellow this time and then move my URL to the bottom right maybe if I click on the style one again I want my new blog somewhere else and that's it now I click my save header file and I get confirmation that a file has been created and a question whether I want to look at it if I click yes it will display it in my default windows uh, image viewer so I can see that I've got a new image which is which includes my text that I've just created now what I need to do is open up Windows Explorer and at the moment I've got my original file in the original folder path and I need to make sure the new file has exactly the same name so I'm going to rename it and just type in path and now it's ready to upload to my server so if I go back to my browser again you can see there's no text on my blog at the moment I go into my FTP program and I just refresh and here's my new blog image and where I need to put it is here's my website creativesuccess.co.uk and because I've got WordPress installed there's a directory called wordpress-content and then inside there there's one called themes and inside themes in this case there's only one theme the default 2010 and then another directory called images and another called headers and the headers is where it's stored and you can see at the moment there's a path.jpg file in there I click on path from my computer my local drive here press the button on my FTP program I'll get a request to confirm I want to overwrite the file which I do wait for it to upload there we go it's finished so now if I click on the other tab for my 
blog I can see this is the header that was there if I click F5 to refresh and wait for it to upload there we go there's my blog which now has the new image with the text included and that's all you need to do